What's going on everybody? Z here and welcome back. So today we're looking at something kind of new but kind of old at the same time. So um, we are looking at the Retron 5. This guy right here. Now this thing plays... Hold on. This thing plays Game Boy Advance, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Genesis, Famicom. Plays those. But it also plays the, uh, the uh, Mega Drive if you have, or the Master System, the Genesis Master System, if you have the adapter for it. I don't have the adapter for it, so we're not gonna be playing that. I also don't think I have any games for that as well. But we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna unbox this guy, take a look at it, and what's exciting about this is that it allows you to play these games with an HDMI output, so you don't have to do any like, uh, there's no adapters, nothing like that, you just plug them in, poop, good to go. Um, it does play in 720 because, I mean, they're kinda old games, so you can't really ask for 1080 out of them. But let's get into, unboxing this guy so uh as you can see uh, all march you get 20 percent off it's not march anymore though that's a thing so all right let's get into it so we did get ourselves a new unboxing knife Whatcha? how cool is that okay um how do we unbox this what is the best way to do this probably right here there's that one do we need to do both sides i don't know if that's a thing Let's see. Let's look at this side. See if we can just get it out from one side or if it doesn't. You know, actually, I think it opens up. I think the whole thing opens up. Let's see. Okay, there's that one. Yeah, this doesn't feel very sharp either. Oh, now yeah, no, it does. And then there's some tape on this guy as well. Shwink! And I think that's it. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's get this guy. Ah! Come on, fingernails. Don't give up on me today. Um, there's that one. There's that one. And then this one, I believe, opens this way. Dun, 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 dun. It's all wrapped in bubble wrap, you can't even see it. <laughs> but, okay. That's a kind of a neat unboxing. Like, it's not just like a, it completely folds flat now. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. So, let's see what we got in here. First thing we got is our power adapter. Ooh, you know those things, those are nice. And then, oh, we got um, some universal adapters too, which is actually kind of cool. Good for them for doing that, because not a lot of things come with those, but that way they can sell it worldwide. And then what we got here? Ooh, we got the controller. All right, so this is the Hyperkin uh, Retron 5 controller. This is, um, it's super clicky. Super clicky, okay, it is wireless. Now, I have heard that the reviews on the controller itself, not the greatest, not the greatest, but that's okay. That's a, another thing we'll talk about in a little bit. Oh, we got our HDMI cable. Look at that, woohoo, HDMI cable. And then we got our, what is this? Oh, micro USB, probably to charge that guy up. But this is what we're after right here, this guy, this big beastie thing right here. Let's just go ahead and set these over here on the ground, perfect like that. <laughs> And holla, da, 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 da. okay. So as you can see, wow, there's like memory card stuff on the back too. I'm showing you the front while I'm looking at the back. That's funny. Um, we have uh, Famicom right here, which I don't have any Famicom games. And then we have NES, SNES, and Genesis. So just to show you, um, also hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's more. There's more. Uh, right here, we have Game Boy Advance. Right there. And what is this stuff? Oh, 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 okay, hold on. We have ports for, okay, these just come off completely. Look at that, look at that. Okay, let's get this one off too. We got your ports for the original controllers. That's why I wasn't too worried about that one not being the greatest. I don't know, I haven't played it yet, so I don't know. But um, you've got your Super Nintendo, your Nintendo, and your Genesis ports all right here. All three ports right here in case you wanna play those and then there's the same on the other side as well they're all like covered up in like rubbery stuff but we're gonna go ahead and, and leave those covered up for now um this guy goes for 139 i think so if you're into playing classic games and you want to play all your favorites on your new tv then this might be the way for you to go the only thing i'm a little disappointed in is it doesn't play nintendo 64 games I was really hoping to get something that played Nintendo 64 games because Nintendo 64 was like, for me, it was like 
one of the pinnacles of like gaming when I was younger. It, I mean, you had Super Mario 64, you had Mario Kart, like, I mean, you had Mario Kart on the NES Super Nintendo or whatever, but the the soup the Nintendo 64 version was just fantastic and then you have super smash brothers on there as well but um all right so i don't have any famicon i don't have a famicon game i don't have anything i'm sorry i don't but what i do have is we do have a nes game which supposedly goes right here just like that Whoa, look at that nes yeah cool all right that one goes there, very neat. And then we also have Super Nintendo. Uh, you know, one of my favorites, of course, is Super Mario World. Who can't love Super Mario World? Uh, that guy goes in here, clicks right in, no problem. I like it, good start, good start. And then we also have, let me get some stuff organized here. Um, Genesis. So my wife is actually super excited about playing this. Uh, this is the Lion King. I mean, this is one of her favorite things. And Sonic, of course. I have Sonic games, but the wife really likes Lion King, so I was like, you know what? Let's put Lion King in here. We'll put Lion King in the video so we can take a look at that. But um, ah! okay, Genesis, just like that. See, look at that. It's cool. Now I don't know what happens if you have all of them plugged in. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and then this part back here, I think, this big huge chunk right here, I want to say this is probably for the uh, controller to sit in. <laughs> I was about to say something completely different, but that's definitely for the controller to chill in. Awesome. Cool. I like it. Um, and then also, I think there's the the Genesis Master thing. Hold on, let's let's look at some of the let's look at some of the literature. Let's look at some of this. See what it says, because I know there's. Oh, we got a Hyperkin sticker too. Look at that, Hyperkin. Play well, live well. Retron Five for Game Boy Advance, SNES, NES, Genesis, and Famicom. Very neat. Okay, now let's see here. What does it say? Because I know it said something about playing with the. Oh yes. Okay. Um, the power base converter for the. Master system. I don't have the power base converter, but that does go in here. It goes on off of this guy into this one. It like takes up this whole area thing. So I don't have that. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't. But uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. So um, one thing that I'm I'm thinking about doing with this, and you guys let me know down below if I don't know. There's probably not that many people watching, but uh, if you guys watch my regular channel, um, let me have my game back. Oh, geez. That guy was in there good. It was in there good. Um, is I'm thinking about actually playing some retro games on the channel, doing some Let's Plays of like original games just for fun, you know, because like I grew up on those. That's what I really like. I really enjoy that. I, I have a little bit of a collection going on. So, but um, I wanted to get this so that way I could play these, run them through an Elgato capture card, you know, and then we could maybe do some Let's Plays. But uh, let me know if you're interested in seeing those down below. I really enjoy them. They're really fun. They're good times. But uh, also we have a memory card back here. And I'm guessing that's just, you know, standard memory card kind of things, memory and stuff. But um, also, before we forget, we do also have this front guy right here that is Game Boy games, which super exciting. Uh, we got Pokemon Yellow right here, which was probably my favorite Pokemon game when I was younger. I know it wasn't like uh, Red, Blue, Green came out first. And then this one came out, but this was like my favorite because, I mean, you get Pikachu to start with. But it was a little harder because Pikachu against like Brock with the rock type, it was rough. But um, okay, so these just go in here. Um, I'm guessing like this. Yep, just like that. Whew, look at that. So you can play your Game Boy games on TV. And then we also have NES, uh, or not NES. We have an NES Classic on the Game Boy Advance. This is Castlevania. So this game is super hard. It is super hard for me anyways. Like I, I never really played Castlevania originally. So I've been playing it on my Game Boy Advance and Oh, let me tell you, it takes me a while to get through a level, but uh, this guy probably just plugs in here just like that as well. Yeah, very neat. Oh, I'm so excited. And then you got your power button right here. Very nice, nice little clicky power button. But um, but yeah, so we have ourselves a Retron 5. Now they make other Retrons. This is the newest one, I believe, or they have a like a gray one. I think it's technically a newer edition. But then they're also coming out with something called the Retron 76, I believe, 77. 76, 77. I'm getting, I'm getting Fallout 76 mixed in with it. I know I am, but I think it's the Retron 76 or 77, and it plays Atari games. So I mean, that's gonna be cool as well. 
and maybe we'll check that out but um but yeah this is something that maybe you'll see on the channel we're actually gonna play it and if you guys are wondering like how i'm capturing it it's probably using this guy now as far as nintendo 64 goes i don't know we're going to we're going to, have to get creative on that one because that needs to happen as well i do want to i mean super mario 64 is amazing game and i want to play it that that's probably what we'll be playing on the channel a lot of but we are going to be taking a look at some of these other other games and then the famicon um i don't have any famicon ones i don't those are all like the japanese style ones the family computer thing so i don't have any of those maybe we'll find some of those leave it leave comments down below what are games that you would like to see played on this or what are some other retro games that you would like to see anyways uh we call them retro games but they're just like classic or vintage i don't know i don't know but um but yeah, that's that's this guy. I picked this up. I actually went to get this, and then I got the SNES Classic or the NES Classic. Sorry, when I got it because it was just chilling there for sale. But um, but yeah, this is this is you know going forward, this might be involved in some of uh, Z1 Gaming's actual videos. I don't know how people are gonna take it though. So yeesh. leave a comment down below if you're excited or not. But um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And we're just gonna go ahead and wrap this video up so I can get this thing hooked up because I want to start playing some of these games. I want to start playing them. They're super exciting. But um, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time.